This is not pure actuarial science. This is thought leadership. Decaching is the process of using less cash. Cashless society is one where there is no cash. Will decaching move to a situation where it's totally cashless? That might happen, but it's certainly not proven. We have to look after those people that would find it very, very difficult to make that transition process. There are ways, but it does need planning. At the moment, in, in Amsterdam, in the streets of Amsterdam, beggars go around with jackets that are fitted with a card reader. And you can just touch, use your contactless, and they get a euro for each one. And they can take that to a local centre and have it swapped for goods. Financial Inclusion Commission should be planning for less cash use in society. The greatest example that we've come across is in Kenya. How are you going to get money back to your family who are living in the rural areas? They don't use internet banking because very often there is no internet. However, there's developed over the last 10 years a system called M-PESA. M stands for mobile, PESA is Swahili for money. You can text anybody money and they receive it by text and it suddenly opened up the whole of the economy. The public generally are in favour of maintaining cash. Now, for some members of the public, it's just a case of convenience. For others, we know that there are issues. If someone steals, someone comes to my house and steals something, a, a burglar, how he gets value out of that, almost certainly he's selling it for cash. The central banks, might have too much control over your activities. All of a sudden, if there were no cash, the banks might be able to ratchet up the cost of handling transactions and the ability for government to know your every movement. There are many issues. I think Bitcoin is a red herring in all this. I believe what will happen is the technology which underlies Bitcoin will eventually stem into central bank digital currencies like the Bitcoin and use the blockchain technology. These are logical thinking people and um, their ability to, to hit problems that face this country or any country or globally um, actually must be in as good a position as any to apply their minds.